Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to join us for BTW 21 News. This is the Tuesday edition. I'm Luis Romero, and again, we thank you for being here with us. We're going to start off with news in Franklin County, where authorities continue to search for an individual that has been missing since we know the middle of February. Now, we must advise you that the Sheriff's Office says that this 14-year-old may not be critically missing, but they still need to make, make contact with that individual. And again, authorities in Franklin County are asking for your assistance in locating Cassie Palmer. On February 16th, Palmer was in Franklin County with her father when she fled on foot after they stopped at a local convenience store, according to the sheriff's office. At the time, she was wearing an electric ankle monitor that pinged to Henry County later that day. Authorities said that at some point that same day, the ankle monitor was intentionally removed, which resulted in loss of tracking. Palmer is believed to be in Henry County or Roanoke County with a relative as other family members have reported to Palmer's juvenile probation officer. She could also be in the company of a sibling or her mother, Ramona Palmer, who has an outstanding warrant for failure to appear out of Franklin County Courts. The Sheriff's Office said that there has been no success or contact with Palmer or her mother since February 16th. Palmer is not believed to be in danger or critically missing, but law enforcement must make physical contact with her to ensure she is safe and well before the alert can be cleared, as I mentioned to you, authorities said. She is described as being five feet six inches tall, weighing approximately 150 pounds, and was last seen wearing a black jacket, black jeans, and boots. Anyone with information regarding the whereabouts of Palmer or her mother should contact the Franklin County Sheriff's Office. Head on over to btw21.com for that number. Now to talk about some stories in the Patrick County area. The Sheriff's Office needs your assistance in regards to Getting some information on multiple vandalisms, the Patrick County Sheriff's Office says that it again needs your help with information regarding the, those multiple vandalisms that occurred during the nighttime hours of March 2nd and 3rd. Vulgar images were sprayed and painted in the roadway of Route 103 in the Dry Pond and Cloudville areas of the county, the Sheriff's Office said in a Facebook post. A substantial reward is being offered for information that leads to the arrest of the person or persons responsible. And I quote, I'm rather tutorial when it comes to Patrick County and anyone who defaces and humiliates our beautiful home shall be dealt with accordingly, Sheriff Dan Smith said in that Facebook post. He went on to say that someone out there knows who did it. They should have some dignity and respect for where you live, and they should call him. Of course, you can call the sheriff's office if you have any information, and it would be greatly appreciated. Continue to talk about news in uh, Patrick County, and we're still talking about the sheriff's office needing your help, this time for the identity of individual wanted in regards to a larceny. The sheriff's office also posted on Facebook that they're asking for your assistance in identifying this male in reference to a larceny of an air compressor. According to the post, he was seen putting the air compressor into a burgundy Ford Focus in the town of Stewart. If anyone knows this individual, they are asked to contact the sheriff's office or you can send them a private message on Facebook. And you may have been wondering why I was dressed up a little more than usually, and that's because it is VIP night for Fast Track 2024. We just came from the ribbon cutting. And again, we wanna remind you that open to the public night is tomorrow from four to seven. Of course, a lot of activity going on tonight, so let's take a look. Hello everyone, Luis Romero here in Uptown Martinsville. It's officially Fast Track season and Fast Track is officially open with a ribbon cutting just moments ago. We're here with the president of the Chamber of Commerce who of course put this together, Ms. Brunel Thomas and the ladies there at the Chamber. Tell me how exciting is it to be able to see another Fast Track uh, officially be open? You know, this is my first one on this side of the event. Being an exhibitor, yes, many years when I was at Patrick and Henry, but being at the chamber and seeing how the magic comes to happen, all of the pieces of the puzzle come together. And Sharon Shepard, you all know, she does a great job. She could do this in her sleep. So it's nice to see everybody coming back together. We have almost a full show, 
I am so excited to see the community response to this. VIP night, as you know, is tonight. We've cut that ribbon, um, but we're looking forward to the public coming out tomorrow. It's a little warm. It's warm outside, so it's a little warm in here. Beautiful day, beautiful day. So I am hoping that the public comes out and takes advantage of all the hard work that our exhibitors have done to make ready for your appearance. Tell us uh, what is the benefit to the businesses and the individuals that are going to be coming out and being able to enjoy this great show. What's the benefit to both? We're trying to do a VIP experience. So with that, of course, you got to dress the part, but it also gives you an opportunity to network. So this is more about business to business interaction. And that's not to say that everyone isn't important. That's why we do our general public night on the second night, on Wednesday night. But tonight it's all about building those relationships or starting those relationships, because who's to say that you don't bump into someone who you can start cross-promoting, that maybe you can start selling their product, they can start selling yours. And again, it's just an opportunity for these folks to know what's in Martinsville and Henry County and in our region. So I love the awareness component of it. I used to love that as an exhibitor, coming in to see who's still in Martinsville and Henry County or who's new to the community that maybe I missed that Facebook post. So it's always a great opportunity to become more aware of who's doing business in our community. Tell us, uh, what are you personally looking forward to uh, during this, uh, this two days of uh, great networking opportunities? Meeting and shaking hands with our members, our uh, chamber members, maybe even making connections with folks who aren't chamber members yet to tell them why they should be. Because if you do this event, hopefully with the taste of the region tonight, think about those, small, usually are small businesses. So they get exposure and hopefully gain another set of customers that they didn't have before tonight. Um, but making some connections myself for folks that I don't know in the community, probably the same as some of our exhibitors, um, but also telling the story of the chamber. So this is one value to you but we do a number of events throughout the year that makes being a chamber member with Martinsville and Henry County Chamber worth your while. Well, thank you so much and we look forward to all the fun that's to be had. Folks again open to the public night is tomorrow Wednesday 4 to 7 we hope to see you then. We're going to take a quick commercial break folks we'll be right back with more news after this. Would you like to learn how to rent your first apartment or buy your first home? Do you need help cleaning up your credit? At the Center for Housing Education, we're providing you with valuable resources and training to help you transition to your new housing lifestyle. Visit the Center for Housing Education at 51 East Street, Martinsville, Virginia. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Give us a call at 276-302-1656. All services are free. Cultivating new housing lifestyles. The Center for Housing Education. New College Institute is a premier educational facility for students, businesses, and the community at large. Expand your career opportunities by getting certifications in advanced manufacturing, technology, healthcare industries, and much more. NCI now offers GWO certified training in one of the fastest growing industries, wind energy. You can also earn your degree from one of our partner Virginia universities, all while staying close to home. Get started today and let New College Institute help you achieve your goals. At Sova Family Medicine Martinsville, our providers, along with their compassionate team, are ready to provide your entire family, ages 2 and older, with preventative and sick care. There are many services provided, such as hypertension, acute illnesses and injuries, annual, school, and sport physicals, diabetes, and chronic medical conditions, and so much more. We are now accepting new patients. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sober Family Medicine of Martinsville is located at 110 Commonwealth Boulevard, West Martinsville, Virginia. You can call at 276-666-7328 or visit soberphysicians.com slash primary care for more information. Welcome back and thank you for staying with us for BTW 21 News. Also dressed up today is Grace Webster as she will also be going to VIP night at Fast Track 2024. Here's your weather now. Hey everybody and welcome back to BTW 21 weather brought to you by Ashbrook Audiology. Let's go ahead and look at today's weather. At 5 p.m. Uh, it's going to be mostly cloudy at 68 degrees. At 8 p.m. it's going to be cloudy at 60 degrees. 
And at 11 p.m. tonight, still cloudy skies out at 56 degrees. Our sunset tonight is going to be at 618. Let's go ahead and look at our hometown weather forecast. Rain today will be at a 2% chance, but it's going to be partly cloudy skies, so the sun will be out and warmer weather is here. Martinsville is going to be at 68 degrees and Ridgeway is going to be at 68 and so is Oak Level. Looking over at Woolwine, Stewart and Ararat, all staying in the mid 60s. Ferrum at 67, Rocky Mount at 69 and Boone's Mill also at 69. Looking a little further into the night, we're going to have a pickup in the percentage of rain at 15% chance. Uh, northern winds at 4 miles per hour. It's going to be a mostly cloudy night so seeing the stars may be a slim to none chance. Martinsville is going to be at 56 degrees, Ridgeway at 57, Oak Level at 57, Woolwine, Stewart, and Ararat all around in the mid-50s, Ferrum at 56, Rocky Mount at 56, and Boone's Mill at 56. Looking a little ahead to tomorrow for our Wednesday forecast, the sunshine was short-lived and we're back to having some rainy days. Uh, 57 is going to be our high for tomorrow and 48 at our low. There will be showers and overcast and rain percentage is at a 92% chance. Uh, northeastern winds at 6 miles per hour. Our sunrise tomorrow morning will be at 642 a.m. All right, and let's go ahead and take a look at our five-day forecast. A recap of today on Tuesday, a high of 72 degrees and a low of 50-ish degrees. Looking a little ahead to tomorrow on Wednesday, we're going to have some showers with a high of 57 and a low of 48. Thursday, partly cloudy with a high of 58 degrees and a low of 40-ish degrees. Friday is going to be mostly cloudy with a high of 63 degrees and a low of 48 degrees. Saturday, we'll be having some showers at 56 degrees and a low of 44 degrees. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our weekend forecast. Forecast, I'm sorry. Saturday with an 87% chance of rain and a high of 56 degrees and a low of 44. Uh, during the day on Saturday, we're going to have a mix between on and off rain. And then Sunday, we're uh, dropping in percentages from 15 yesterday to 8%. So more sunshine and clouds mixed in on Sunday and a high of 55 degrees and a low of 32 degrees. Winds ranging on both days to about 6 to 8 miles per hour. As always, thank you for joining us here at BTW 21, and we will see you again tomorrow. Hi, Barry Nelson and Nelson Kid Bassett Forks. We got a 24 soul. Richard Petty'd be proud. It's only 25410. We'll have $500 off. Come get it while it lasts. Got a 24 Kia Forte. This baby gets 39 miles to a gallon. It only costs you 21725. That's a great deal for a brand new car with a 100,000 mile warranty. Only at Nelson Kia. One of my favorite Kias, a 24 Sportage. It's an X Pro. It's one of the best ones, off road package. We got $1,500 off MSRP. I love my Kias. Gonna give you a real deal. A 23 Sorento EX X Line. I'm gonna give you $1,500 off this baby. One of the hottest SUVs on the planet. A 24 Telluride SX Prestige. I'm gonna give you $2,000 off the hottest car on the planet. Come see us at Nelson Kia, where everybody knows cars cost less. Welcome to Zimmar Chiropractic, your solution to a pain-free life. With our specialized chiropractic adjustments, we target back and neck injuries, offering tailored treatments for your specific needs. Conveniently located at 3652 Virginia Avenue, our advanced facility includes in-house x-ray machines and skilled massage therapists. Call us now at 276-647-5555 take the first step towards a healthier and more comfortable you. Zimmer Chiropractic, your path to wellness starts here. Relationships, they are the most precious and important thing we have in life. An uncorrected or improperly corrected hearing loss negatively affects each and every one of those relationships. Did you know that you have hearing insurance benefits available to you? At Ashbrook Audiology, we are the region's go-to providers for benefits from affordable hearing care, true hearing, and many more. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter, Martinsville and Danville. Boyce Holland Veterinary Services, since January 1st, 1982. Celebrating 42 years of caring for your furry friends. 
In 2024, we're overjoyed to mark our 42nd anniversary in the veterinary business. A journey filled with countless wagging tails, we extend our heartfelt thanks to every pet parent who has chosen us over the years. Your loyalty and trust have been the cornerstones of our success. From adorable puppies and kittens to wise seniors, each furry friend has become a cherished part of our extended family. As we celebrate this significant anniversary, we eagerly look forward to many more years of serving our community and being a trusted partner in the health and happiness of your pets. Thank you for 42 positively wonderful years. Here's to many more tail wagon moments together at Boyce Holland Veterinary Services, Stewart, Virginia. For nearly 30 years, Drake Extrusion offers you the personalized service and flexibility of a custom supplier. With research and development based on two continents, Drake is on the cutting edge of polypropylene fiber technology. We work daily with polymer suppliers to improve existing products and meet the challenge of new end uses. We not only value our products, but we also value our employees. For more information, email us at info at drakeextrusion.com or give us a call at 276-632-0159. Welcome back and thank you so much for your continued company. Now in our lineup, we're going to take a look at your crumb report, as always brought to you by Apex Bell Bonds. Justin McBride of Martinsville charged with intoxication in public. Tarike Terry of Axton charged with driving while intoxicated. First conviction. Maurice Underdown of Bassett charged with contempt of court. Failure to appear. Michael Carter of Fieldale, charged with probation violation, misdemeanor. David Clark of Collinsville, charged with resisting arrest, obstructing justice without threats of force, intoxication in public. Amanda Lanier of Bassett, charged with resisting arrest, obstructing justice without threats of force, and possession of or distribution of needles, capsules, pipe, etc. Eric Lawrence of Collinsville, charged with shoplifting, altering price tags under $500. Shoplifting, altering price tags over $500, first time. Trespassing after being forbidden to do so. William Upchurch of Bassett, charged with driving while intoxicated, first conviction. Shelby Daniel of Martinsville, charged with intoxication in public. Robert Perkins of Homeless, charged with intoxication in public. Bond's been around, licensed on both sides of the Virginia-Carolina line, provides fast releases and affordable bail at the lowest rates allowed by law. Apex Bail Bonds, Martinsville, across from Checkered Pig, for the lowest rates allowed. Hi. I'm Simone Red, President and CEO of Martinsville First Savings Bank. We would like for you all to come in and see us, see what products that we have and what we can do to serve you. And we like your business. We're a part of this community and we love our community. Martinsville First Savings Bank is located at 25 West Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia. And our phone number is 276-638-8771. Whether it's tax season or car buying time, BVT Finances has you covered. No credit, bad credit, no problem. Let PVT Incorporated make this tax season your smoothest ride yet. Get rolling with PVT. Call 276-673-2373 or visit 4264 Appalachian Drive in Fieldville. 
Hi, I'm Stephen Edwards and I'm the owner of Riverside Tire Service. At Riverside Tire Service, we have been a staple in this community for over 40 years as your premier Michelin tire dealer. Now with that relationship with Michelin for over 40 years, we can pass on savings to you that no one else can compare to. We have over $50,000 worth of Michelins in stock ready to fit your vehicle. If we don't have it, we also receive two deliveries a day so we can get you rolling in a timely manner. Welcome back and thank you so much for your continued company. Now let's take a look at your obituary report by Bassett Funeral Service. Virgie Ann Show, 85 of Bassett, Virginia, passed away Wednesday, February the 28th, 2024. A funeral service was held Monday, March the 4th at 1 p.m. at Bassett Funeral Service Chapel. The family received friends two hours before that service. Online condolences may be made by visiting BassettFuneralService.com. Shannon Lamar Maxwell, 40, of Bassett, Virginia, passed away Saturday, March the 2nd, 2024. A funeral service will be held on Friday, March the 8th at 12 noon at the Bassett Funeral Service Chapel. The family will receive friends one hour before the funeral service. Online condolences may be made by visiting BassettFuneralService.com. Mrs. Danny Johnson of Leesburg, North Carolina passed away Monday, March the 4th, 2024. A list of survivors and service details will be announced with arrangements are finalized. Fulton Walton Funeral Home is serving the Johnson family. Online condolences may be made by visiting FultonWaltonFuneralHome.com. America, Virginia, Dare Williamson, 83, of Martinsville, Virginia, passed away Friday, March the 1st, 2024. The funeral will be Friday, March the 8th at 12 noon at St. Paul High Street Baptist Church. Visitation will be one half hour prior to that service. Wright Funeral Service and Crematory is serving the family. All pre-needs are transferable. Our Bassett Funeral Services family wants to pass the savings on to you. Come and see us and let us examine your pre-need today. At Bassett Funeral Services, we go beyond expectations. Our 8250 full service funeral with burial package not only offers a choice of burial properties, but also provides access to our serene family nursery and comforting dining area. This package also includes a free limo, free cat panel, and free memorial portrait for families. Located at 3665 Ferrystone Park Highway in Bassett, our compassionate team awaits the opportunity to support your family. Call 276-629-1770 to let Bassett Funeral Services care for your loved ones. Bassett Funeral Service has the guaranteed low price on cremation. Come and see what all the talk is about today. A broken or cracked windshield can ruin a day. At Daniel's Auto Glass, it's our goal to make that unfortunate scenario as painless as possible. We have been servicing Franklin County and the surrounding area since 1995. Our customers are our neighbors, and we want you to know that you have the choice who repairs or replaces your windshield. And if you can't come out to us, we can come out to you. We also offer window tinting, and we are fully equipped and certified to reset all camera systems in any windshield, both in shop and with our mobile unit. Greetings, I am Quentin Walton, Director of Fulton Walton Funeral Home and Cremation Service, LLC, licensed in North Carolina and Virginia. Our staff is committed to serve you continuously. Service for all within the means of all is our goal for the community. We have a professional staff qualified to serve you and your family to help you gain knowledge, especially in pre-need borough planning, insurance strategies to promote wealth for you and your family. Having 29 years of excellent service, the establishment is now serving two locations. Fulton Walton Funeral Home and Cremation Service, LLC, 219 Dillard School Drive, Yanceyville, North Carolina, phone 336-694-4881, and Fulton Walton Memorial Chapel, 417 Price Street, Eden, North Carolina, 
phone 336-627-3300. Website www.fultonwaltonfuneralhome.com. Allow us, the Fulton Walton Funeral Home staff, to help you and your family in your time of bereavement. Are you looking for a fresh cut steak? Stop by the Sirloin House where we offer hand cut steaks daily. Enjoy our world famous sirloin tips or our chicken tips. We also offer fresh seafood and plate lunches that start at $7.99 for a meat and two. Come see us at 207 South Van Buren Road in Eden, North Carolina and follow us on Facebook for all our specials. Call us at 336-623-7778 for all your carry out or catering needs. Do you need a tractor and loader, backhoe, excavator, compact track loader, or implements? Well, Freel Equipment has it. Freel Equipment can deliver to Roanoke, Bedford, Franklin, Henry County, and surrounding areas. Freel Equipment offers services to contractors, homeowners, farmers, quality equipment at affordable pricing. So give Freel Equipment a call at 540-420-3475. Harbor Towing and Recovery is expanding. 4173 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville. Harbor now offers custom tire and wheels with advanced technology. Automotive repair? No problem for Harbor. From simple repair to major semi-trucks, Harbor's got you covered. Oil changes, brakes, front end alignment on any size vehicle or trucks. And remember, 24-hour towing. So you tell the police to call Harbor Towing, 276-632-2580. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap it up here for my time on this uh, Tuesday. As always, we thank you so much for staying tuned, and we hope that we can see you for the Open to the Business, Open to the Public Night at Fast Track 2024 tomorrow, Wednesday, 4 to 7. Have a good evening, everyone. Chopsticks, Martinsville's largest, nicest restaurant, serving hibachi, sushi, Chinese, and Asian cuisine. Daily lunch special starting out at $7.49 to $11.25 every day. Drink specials and mouth-watering entrees at Chopsticks in Martinsville. Don't forget about our sushi specials every Monday and Thursday. Dine in or carry out at 632-8898. Chopsticks, located across from Baymont Inn. Join the Martinsville Henry County Chamber of Commerce and countless exhibitors for Fast Track 2024, the region's premier business trade show. Fast Track will be located at the Clock Tower, 300 Franklin Street in Martinsville. New to the event, this year's show will identify exhibitors that are now hiring. Open to the public night is Wednesday, March 6th from 4 to 7 p.m. Admission is $2 or two non-perishable food items. Embark on a flavor-filled journey at El Palmar Mexican Grill, indulge in authentic Mexican street food, Tex-Mex, and mouth-watering American classics, all at irresistible prices. Dive into delights like shrimp tacos, birria tacos, hot wings and fries, quesabirria, gran burritos, and beyond. Quench your thirst for refreshing horchata and Jamaica. Why wait? Give them a ring at 276 806 4877 and experience a culinary adventure from Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Elevate your taste buds with the best in town. Hi, Barry Nelson here at Action Corner in Marginal. Nelson Ford. Got a 2021 HRV all wheel drive, zero down, only $3.99 a month at Nelson Ford. Hi, Barry Nelson at Action Corner. We've got action going on. We've got a 2016 Ram four-wheel drive, crew cab, <laughs> zero down, only $3.89 a month. Man, it's it's hot. <laughs> you want a deal? We got 18 EcoSport, 36,000 miles, zero down, only $3.20 a month. Zero down. It's a really hard unit to come by. It's a 23 Ford Maverick Tremor Lariat, fully loaded. And we're debating about the color. It's called Avalanche Gray. So y'all pick your color. Come see us at Nelson Ford. You want a good little SUV and a good payment? Zero down, a 16 Hyundai Santa Fe, only $229 a month. That's a great deal here at Nelson Ford, where we have fun and everybody knows cars cost less.